House Republicans have picked Elise Stefanik for the number three leadership role that replaces Trump critic Liz Cheney. President Trump quickly congratulating her. Here's the quote. Congratulations to Elise Stefanik for her big and overwhelming victory. The House GOP is united and the Make America Great Again movement is strong, end quote. President Trump has three rallies planned in the coming months. He still seems to be leading the Republican Party flat out. Not all congressional Republicans are on board with that, however. Come on in, Ronna McDaniel, who joins us now. Ronna, is President Trump leading the party into the 2022 elections? Not 2024, 2022. Clear-cut leader? Uh, uh, well, the president, President Trump just got 75 million votes, and he is a huge factor in our party. And uh, people across the country are saying, you know, look at his policies. Look what he did with the vaccine, with the border, all of them being dismantled with Israel. We're seeing already that erosion under uh, Joe Biden, and people are wishing, gosh, we wish we had Republicans back in office and President Trump so we could keep those policies in place. Can I summarize like this for a lot of, what a lot of people tell me? A lot of Republicans don't like the man, the persona, Donald Trump, but they love his policies. That's what a lot of people say to me. What would your response be to that? You know, I think there, it's all across the board, but I hear people every day say he fought for us. He gave us a voice. He's somebody who listened to the average voter and fought for us in Washington. And now they feel their voices are being diminished under Joe Biden, as we saw the terrible jobs report. We see union jobs being lost because of the elimination of the Keystone Pipeline. We see families who don't have their kids in school, families like mine, whose kids aren't in school five days a week in person learning. And they're really hungering uh, for that time when they had a leader who fought for average Americans. And that's been lost under this Biden administration. Well, as you know, Liz Cheney is out. She's saying it's time for Republicans to move on from Mr. Trump. Roll tape, please. We have to get people to vote for us, and we can't do that if we are uh, a party that's based on a foundation of lies. I think what right. the former president's doing is dangerous. What I think is really important is that we make sure uh, that uh, the former president, because we know what he's capable of, because we know what he continues to do, and because we know how important it is for us to be able to advance Republican ideals, that we make sure that he never again get anywhere near the Oval Office. Okay, Rana, your response to that, please. Well, I, I think it shows why she was removed from leadership, because she's not talking about 2022 and how do we take back the House and how do we take back the Senate? I mean, we should all be talking about the fact that we're four seats away from taking back the House and taking back that chamber from Nancy Pelosi, especially when you are seeing a border crisis, a gas shortage crisis, a crisis in the Middle East, a jobs crisis, all of these things in four months under Joe Biden because of terrible policies he's putting in place. It makes it more imperative than ever that Republicans, every Republican, especially those in leadership, are talking about how do we win in 2022. 2024 is a long way away. I'm thinking about 2022 right now. Got it. Rana, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Great stuff, and we appreciate you being here always. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.